She truly is the epitome of a great credit union CEO. Marsha Brower spent more than 30 years in the credit union movement. She began her career with the former Jamestown Postal Employees Credit Union in 1986 and made a stop at Amherst Federal Credit Union before eventually becoming the CEO of Clarence Community and Schools Federal Credit Union. Marsha has always been a champion for her credit union and for the credit union movement. Marsha's dedication to the credit union world and to the credit union philosophy of, of people helping people is unprecedented. She works until things are done and completed. And no matter what that takes, even if it takes um, you know, giving up a vacation, she's been known to do that. During her time as CEO, Clarence Community and Schools more than doubled its members and assets, while the number of staff members also increased to accommodate growth. Brower also oversaw a strategic merger that added new communities to the credit union's field of membership and helped implement several new products and services at the credit union, including participation in multiple ATM networks, home banking, and a mobile app. Marsha puts her heart and soul into everything that she does um, within the credit union movement and throughout her life. She has really set an example for um, new credit union leaders coming up through our industry. As many people know, with small credit unions, you wear many hats, and she wore those hats with enthusiasm, with ambition, drive, you know, and, and truly had the passion for credit unions. Marsha was instrumental in creating the credit union's Clarence Youth Savings Program along with the local school district. In 2008, she built on that already established relationship with the launch of a high school branch where students participate as part of the school's career-based business curriculum. Over the years, Brower has expanded the credit union's commitment to the local schools by developing a renowned financial literacy program that earned national recognition. It's not unusual to see Marsha out in the community representing our values to the community at large, whether it's just in her clearance neighborhood or across the state. Someone of uh, Marsha's stature and with that dedication, they put their heart and soul into their credit union. And so it means, a, it means a lot. Like they do whatever they can to make sure that that credit union survives and thrives and grows. And Marsha's one of those people. Throughout her career, Brower was engaged with the credit union community, attending countless trainings, conferences, and workshops to further her knowledge of credit union issues and procedures. She's long been active with the Erie Niagara chapter and served on the association's CEO roundtable steering committee. In 2013, these efforts helped earn her the association's Outstanding Professional Award. She's always there, willing and able to help other credit unions, the, the chapter, and the association for the good of all credit unions. All of those years of experience and knowledge should be remembered and should be respected and honored. I'm not quite sure that um, everyone has that level of dedication, and I think that it takes that level of dedication, especially for small credit unions, to survive in this um, environment. Since her retirement in 2018, Marsha has remained committed to a number of civic and charitable organizations, including the local Chambers of Commerce, Kiwanis Club, Hospice, Meals on Wheels, and many more. People like Marsha are very few, and the, um, the wisdom that they bring is something that can only help future uh, leaders become successful. She, she has the passion for credit unions, you know, and not only that, but she's the most kind, generous, caring person. Marsha's a great person. She's a lot of fun. The New York Credit Union Association is proud to induct Clarence Community and Schools Federal Credit Union's Marsha Brower to the New York Credit Union Hall of Fame Class of 2019.